here. This Aegis ex expiring and the buyback coming back oh, for the Void. Laurel. Laurel, he gets spotted by 33, does manage to turn him into stone, kicks him out. 33 is going to be guided straight into the arms of Collapse. Gets the call, shall it great? The heal, it is enough, but he, he, him. And he gets the calling blade anyway. Collapse with the counter to all the heal coming out from Thompson. Can't get him the first time, he'll get him the second. No hesitation on the trigger. That is a refresher down, but you still have a VKB up for collapse. Yeah, sees his opportunity. Jumps onto Sneaky, but the Shallow Grave oh, holding Soulbind. alive. The Soulbind and all that extra damage, man. The magic damage is intense, but the call from Collapse. It got the faceless void. He doesn't need the PA to be able to kill the enemy. No here. Collapse is doing it all by himself. The Ravage finally comes through, but they're going to have to do it without their faceless void. The magic damage is what's going to have to push them through, but Collapse with another he three, three. call. He keeps on hitting him. He chops down one, looks oh. for another. Never mind, Yatoro will just cleave through him. Ball at the same time, Collapse has hit every single initiation needed to end this game. An emphatic move from the offlaner of Team Spirit. He wants back. Time after time. 16, and he's gonna get it with a rampage to clean him up. See ya in game two, Tundra. This one belongs to Collapse entirely as he puts on an axe masterclass right here from the start of that game to the end. Just straight up carrying every...